Hi, I'm George Jetson, and I live in the 21st century. I have been wishing for my own Rosie as early as I can remember, and clearly some other folks have been working hard to make her happen. This brand new bot, just debuted at CES, is called Curry. As the newest home automation phenom, this one could have staying power because it's backed by Bosch Robotics. So how'd we get here? First, we need to take a look back. The idea of domestic assistant robots for the home has been floating around film and literature well before the world could actually make one. There's TikTok in Return to Oz in 1907, of course my favorite, Rosie, and a whole slew of movies that basically warn humans one day, the tables will turn. I'll be back. Or we'll owe them our survival, like Wally. There is no halfway where robots are concerned. Have you any idea what this is, Christian? Well, maybe, is it a robot? But the first truly useful home robots didn't roll out until the 1980s when Mr. Wizard featured the hero. Three. It was controlled by an onboard computer and had light, sound, and motion detectors. It didn't reach massive popularity, but it paved the way for my BFF, the Roomba, which is still the most widely accepted of all home robots. We even have Pepper, Now, and Buddy. One of those bots even got a job greeting holiday shoppers. Oh, welcome to the San Francisco Westfield Shopping Center. Do you want to learn how to say hello in another language? Guys. It's really happening. Still, most assistant robots do similar things. They can act as personal assistants when you're at home to your internet-connected gadgets and accounts, or act as security when you're not. Alexa, kill the lights. But the category is still dealing with sharp growing pains, because they're not always as smart as you'd like. Introducing Jibo, the world's first family robot. Say hi, Jibo. Hi, Jibo. <laughs> when Jibo, the quote, first social robot, first announced itself on Indiegogo in 2015, funding exploded. But the company drew negative attention when they realized the bot would have violated EU privacy laws. And instead of shipping worldwide, the makers had to refund a lot of money. They've had to continue pushing their release date back again and again, and are now aiming for some time in 2017. Now, crowdfunders generally tackle expansion in one country at a time. And that's why we're here at Mayfield Robotics to see another contender for a home robot, but this time we get to be in the lab. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to introduce Curry to your home, and Curry will be able to autonomously or on its own move around your home. Hey Curry, go to the living room. Curry's going to be able to recognize you and the people you love in your home and do things like check on your cat. You can use it to know if somebody left the light on. You can also use it to play NPR while you're getting ready in the morning or read an audiobook to your kid to put the help with them to sleep. And if there's something in the way, you can say, okay, hey Curry, go back to the living room. You know, just drive around things. Another contender in the home robot space, this one is backed by Bosch Robotics and is taking expansion slow. We're trying to limit scope, so not try to do everything, but really focus on personality as our big focus and make sure that everyone can have a great robot. When's more, Kyle? We got it. Okay. <laughs> Cut. It has small eyes that move to express robo-like emotion, but unlike the other recent competition, it does not talk. You made this choice with Curry to, to have it not actually speak. Why did you do that? We wanted to have a really enjoyable and delightful experience. And a lot of times text-to-speech is not really personable. It sounds wrong, and so it breaks the illusion of character. And we wanted Curry to speak robot. So you expect Curry to be as smart as a, a dog or a cat, not as smart as a human, because AI and machine learning isn't quite there yet. Hey, Curry. Do I need a jacket today? Will it rain this week? Okay, now I'm happy about it raining. Hey, Curry. I love you. Oh my God. <laughs>
You said that you're focusing on character to just sort of get it out the door. That's like the thing you want to nail down. How did you choose all these cute little things? So we worked with a contractor who was formerly a Pixar animator, and he helped us really understand a lot about what makes people fall in love with characters. Hi. Oh my god, let's go get ice cream. It's ringed with sensors and can map a space. It's mobility for a camera, microphone, and speakers. And that's what the company is betting that people want. So is this Spotify? What is this? This is Spotify. This is a robot. It's the robot. It's the robot's playlist? I have a robot playlist, yeah. <laughs> what else would Curry play? What else would Curry play other this than is... the robot playlist? Curry. Yeah, she can help out a bit, but she's not going to solve all your problems and she's going to try to do her best, but she'll make mistakes sometimes. And hopefully you'll forgive her and enjoy having her in your home. Oh, oh, my bad. Sorry. The price will be $700. And I'm a believer that this could be the robot that updates its IoT security settings and software enough to keep it user friendly, but safe. After Curry is shipped, the software will continue to update. Why is that important to you? So over time, as the robots go out and we learn more, it's really important to be able to improve their capabilities. And as you are interacting with the world, you learn things and improve your performance, so should the robot. In the automation of your home market, all the Alexas and Chromecast dongles and Nest thermostats can feel like a lot to manage. Adding another thing to the mix seems like a mess, but I think it's here to stay. So you better place your bets on which robot you'd like to see running around your house. Will there be robots in every house? I think in the, our future, robots will be in every house. I think they'll be like Curry or eventually better than Curry. I think we've been dreaming about robots for generations and we're going to make them happen. Here I am, sir. Yes, sir.